Recording. Yeah. Right. Camera's on and it's recording. Should probably start the engine running. How was if you started by? <laughs> I was just about to put it in gear and it didn't do anything. I was like, oh, yeah. I'll just well, how you put it in first gear as well. <laughs> <laughs> Mock me and you do it. Couple of bikes so, around. So mine is the Senna Spider. What are you rocking? I am on my Senna 50C, which is the camera version. But it's not just any camera. It is actually the 4K camera as well. So it is very good quality. And I am riding the Yamaha Nikon GT. And I am riding a CF Moto 650 MT 2019. There we go. That's yeah. the introduction's done. I... Oh, something smells good. You get a whiff of that cafe. <laughs> I haven't actually eaten there before, so I was saying, we're going to turn left at this roundabout, by the way. We'll go through a little village in Borough Marsh, but it means yep. there'll be a little bit slower riding, so the wind okay. will be out of your ear. Um, I was saying about the intercom system, um, like, for me, I, I do, I, I prefer having one um, for, like, when you're out and about, it gives you that flexibility to be able to talk to people. Um, and also, if you need to talk to anyone or you get a call, but also listening to music and things, which I think is something that people don't tend to do, but is something very worthwhile. Yeah, uh, one thing I haven't done, which I should have done really, was uh, I should have put my earplugs in. Because apparently, if you put earplugs in, if you're um, a little bit hard of hearing with an intercom system, it, it Actually, you can hear it better because the intercom, the earplugs filter out some of the nasty noise. Uh, okay. Did that car pull over? Um, yeah, coming up behind you now. Oh, uh, yeah, I see you. It looks like, in a, in a strange way, it looks like you're riding the cruiser from certain angles. Yeah, it's... I do, I've got to say, I love this bike. I really do. <laughs> A lot of people have said that it just looks very strange. Uh, I mean, my wife compares the front end to an ant, but she says the side and back is all fine. Um, she's been on the back, actually, and she said it was a lot more comfortable than she was expecting as well. Um, the thing is, with motorcyclists, we like to be a bit different, don't we? Yeah, well, I mean, from a riding point of view, the thing I like the most is that you've got so much grip on the front. It's ridiculous and by that i mean that i've gone through corners faster than this than i have on any other bike uh ross the editor of more bikes he's actually had a ktm 7 uh, 790 duke um which i got to play on for a little while and it's very light very easy to ride lovely lovely bike um really nice naked and flicking that through the corners was as you would any bike it's very light so it's very maneuverable but then i got on this which is obviously heavier because it's got that extra wheel but when you are flicking it through the corners there's so much grip on the front that the back wheel actually feels like you haven't got as much grip even though it's no different even though there's plenty of grip there just because there's so much grip on the front the back has slightly less feel yeah but it is oh, honestly, it's undescribable. You need to you need to give it a ride. You're on the insurance. You should just take it for a spin from the office one day because you'll see what I mean going from the corners. Like when I first rode it, I thought, oh, going to be interesting, sort of going for a roundabout, flicking it quickly left and right. But actually, I was telling myself the bike's got three wheels, but the bike was saying, flick me around like I haven't. And when you do, you really do feel such confidence. Um, and everyone I've spoken to that's ever ridden one for any length of time have all said the same thing. And I would genuinely buy one because it is so fun to ride. Okay, it is a bit wide, um, so you do have to think a little bit more about filtering and things like that, but it's not so wide that you're a car width, so you can't move at all. There's plenty of room for you still. Um, I filtered through traffic the other day going into Lincoln and I didn't have an issue at all. Just through we went, no issues. So it, it just takes, I think, the best way of saying is you just have to think a little bit harder and there's no bad thing about that. Yeah.